Well, hello there everyone, David, your friendly Harry Scotsman here once again. Well, I'm down in a wee place called Burnt Island. I've just been out of a job for the paper. And it's now nearly quarter past one. So, I thought, I'm going to do a wee video here. I'm quite peckish, so I'm going to shoot this wee video. Now, I'm sitting in the car. I've got one of these tray things. I normally use this for when I'm working on my computer. So I'm just going to pull that back a wee bit. I'm still in there, that's fine. Uh, wrong position on this. Oops, audio coming on there. Just going to have to correct my steering wheel a wee bit. There we go, that's better. So it now sits in properly. So, this one goes out to my cousin Carla. Can you guess what it is? It is, in fact, one of the healthiest meals ever invented in Scotland. It is called a pizza crunch. Would you look at that? Now basically what it is, it is pretty much the cheapest pizza that you can get. Cut in half, battered and deep fried. So, I'll let you have a wee look at this as best I can with the chips, pizza crunch and chips. That is so hot it is unbearable. Um, I've literally just got it from the chippy. So, I've never had one of these before. I think I tasted one once, but I can't be certain. So, basically it smells like, how can I describe it? A cheese and tomato pizza, you know, just a basic uh, cheap pizza with onion on it. That's kind of, that's what it smells of. So, that's the other side of it. Yeah, it's like that. So it's a good size, I mean, 10 inch pizza, cut in half. Right, here we go. Wish my luck, folks. This is basically a heart attack on my uh, table here. Hmm. Where has this been all my life? This is amazing. <laughs> I cannot believe it. Absolutely amazing. It's got kind of like the doughy bread. Some tomato sauce. There's loads of cheese on it. Um, there's wee bits of onion in it. And then all that batter. I actually cannot believe how good that is. That is actually amazing. The crispiness, it is red hot. As I say, it's just come out of the fryer. Absolutely red hot. That is literally unbelievable how good that is. I can't believe how hot it is. But wow. Take another bite of this so you can actually see a sort of circle out of it. There we go. That is. That has to be 
one of the best things I've had. It's so wrong, but it's just amazing. The, the doughy bread at the bottom hasn't absorbed the fat, so it's been cooked absolutely perfect in the batter. The batter tastes really nice, it's really crispy, just enough seasoning in it. I've had nothing put on this, I just wanted to try it as it came. Wow. The only way to describe it is, if you get a chance, go for it. I don't know what else to say about it. The chips are crispy and fluffy. And they're made from real potatoes, not sort of frozen stuff. Mm. They are great chips. Absolutely stunning chips. And there's wee bits of... Uh, Batter that's fallen off. I'll be coming back here, I tell you that. Mm. If ever you are in a place called Burnt Island in Fife in Scotland, I think it's the Link Chippy. As you're coming round to the back of the Beacon Leisure Centre, it's opposite the car park at the bottom before you come up the hill. Now, how much did this lot cost me? I got a receipt. Right. The half pizza supper was five pound and ten p. Now, I also got a drink. Now, bear in mind it's the beginning of February, but I don't really like hot drinks very much. I got a mixed slushy. Now, as for a large, now that may look large until you put it beside my face or beside my hand. I'd have hate to have seen what a small one was. Slip some of that before it. Oh, it's a wee spoon I've got, a spoon straw. Right, let's try this. Oh, that's nice. I think that's strawberry, I think the other one's blue raspberry or something. Let's get down to the blue stuff. Yeah, I think that's blue raspberry. I like a mixed one. Mm. Pure ice with flavourings mixed up. It's almost... There's some sticky there. It's almost, but not quite, like the shave ice I had in Hawaii. But the shave ice there is just sort of shaved ice and then they put the flavours on. This is in like a, a drum with a, a spiraler in it that keeps it moving. <coughs> you've got the ice in it and then you've got the flavour in it and it just keeps turning and turning and turning and keeping it all well mixed. I like them. I've had them before. They're really good. That was pound fifty. Yeah, maybe a bit pricey for the size of it. As I said, I hate to see what a small one was. Because those chips are good. Just out the deep fry. They're not too greasy. I've got a crunch on them. Really soft and floury inside. Mm. That wind's starting to pick up out there. And I've got a seagull watching me. Sorry mate, you're not getting any of this. Back to this. Mm. 
as you breathe in when you go to bite it, you get that cheap oniony pizza taste in your mouth. And then as you bite it, you get that, you get the cheese, you get... It must be like the oil that it's in, because you get the taste of that as well. That's stunning. Try it, watch it. I can't believe that I've waited all this time never to have had one of these before. I'll tell you something now. It may be the first one. It will not be the last one. That is so nice. So I'm about halfway through it. I'll have another one for this. I'll maybe give you a quick view because I've got the camera set up on a wee tripod in the car at the moment with my light on. I can't just take it out and sort of zoom it round. So once I've had this while it's still hot, I'll disappear for a couple of minutes. Well, it'll be sec half a second for you guys. And um, as Arnie said, I'll be back. Alright, that's me back again. Uh, keeping his horn, playing music and all that sort of thing. You get idiots everywhere, I suppose. This is Burnt Island Beach. As you can see over there is the church. I'm not sure which one it is, but it's beautiful. That at the back is Ben Hill. Extinct volcano. Well, it's almost extinct. Here we go. Right along the front, there's a railway line goes right along there as well. Right along to, if I get around a bit further, Pettiker Bay Caravan Park, which is currently on a TV uh, station. They're doing sort of like a documentary on it. And as we walk across here a wee bit, now I'm going to watch for doggy mines here. So, okay, I'm clear there. Now it looks like quite a nasty day, but it's actually not too bad. The wind's picked up a wee bit, but we'll go around there. There's a public boat ramp down here. So if you've got a boat, you can launch it off that. Personally, I think it's a wee bit on the steep side and a wee bit uh, slippery, so I wouldn't bother. And up at the side of those houses, there's like a walkway goes round there, which takes you right round. Over on the other side we have, uh, I think we're just past Edinburgh. Uh, one of the islands, it's itch something or other. Itch Keith, Itch Garvey, it's itch one of them. And there's the, the bay. Now when the tide's out, that is almost dry. It's very shallow here. We'll come back round here, back round the beach, we'll zoom in a bit on the beach. That's a wee pub up there, which I almost bought years ago, but missed out on it. The wall there, now there's arches in there which take you through onto the links, where they usually have the shows in the summertime, but this is beginning of February. So it's all very quiet. And behind me, as we come around, there's my car. We have the Beacon Leisure Centre, where I tried to learn to swim, amongst many other places. Right, so I'm back in the car again. Um, the train just going along there. Shame I missed that. Seagulls are going nuts because they wanted some of my chips, and I said no. Um, a couple over there taking a selfie. Oh, that was cute. 
an older couple taking a selfie out for a walk. That was really nice. So I'm going to toddle off just now. If you like what I'm doing and you haven't already hit the red button and the notification bell, I'd greatly appreciate it. If you like my videos, um, a like would be nice. And if you want to leave a comment, I'll try my hardest to get back to you. So far, I've only missed a couple, I think, in sort of a few years, but I try to get there if I can. So, I'm going to toddle off just now. Take care of yourselves, everyone. See ya.